first of all, it, it's so hard to win in this league, and when you get a win, it's, anyone's huge. And I'm um, really proud of our team the way we played. Uh, obviously, in the second half, we stumbled a little bit. We made some mistakes, but what I do like about it is that we found a way to finish and win. And there's good lessons to learn for our team. You know, it's been a while since we had to manage the clock at the end of the game properly to close out a game. And our guys understand that now and how that works. So we were able to do that. Uh, again, it's difficult winning in this league. Uh, we played a division opponent in our first half. Really proud of our defense against Adrian McPherson. Uh, really made him uh, struggle. And uh, that's something to really build on. And we got to find a way to come out in the second half and not make the types of mistakes that we made. Uh, I think that's fixable. And I know our guys are already ready to come back to work. Uh, on Tuesday um, to prepare for San Antonio. We have another home game, another opportunity. And I'm proud of our football team, the way they've hung through uh, the adversity. You know, it shows a lot of character about our team. Um, a lot of teams in their situation might not come out and fight like they did. So I'm proud of them. A lot of lessons to learn here. Uh, and we get ready for San Antonio now. Coach, uh, what exactly went uh, wrong for for you guys that uh, enabled Tampa Bay to, to get back into it? I mean, y'all led by as many as 21 points or something like that. Yeah, I think we did a good job <clears throat> with all the onside kicks that they were doing, and we were answering with scores, and then uh, when we turned the ball over for a touchdown, that's a, that's a mistake. I know Kurt wants back. Uh, you know, he's, he's got to know that situation um, on first down to be smart with the ball. And, uh, you know, we made, made a mistake there. Um, then we got stopped. You know, we dropped the ball. Uh, we ran a wrong route one time. Um, you know, those things on a critical drive in the fourth quarter and it gets stopped like that when we really hadn't had trouble. Uh, you know, it's disappointing, but it can happen. You know, as I kept telling our guys throughout the second half, it's a three possession game and anything can happen. So, you know, it can turn quickly in arena football. That's the nature of it. So, but the key is the win is huge. And I know their mentality moving forward <clears throat> will be one of, we can't let that happen again. So to me as a coach, that's a plus. How big, well, I mean, you said this win was huge. I mean, Tampa Bay came in with seven wins. I mean, it's, so you have to be pretty pleased about, about beating a team with seven wins. I do, and I, you know, especially the first half of where we played uh, in all three phases um, was the way we're capable of playing when we're healthy, when we have the right people with the mind, right mindset. And again, you have to credit the players for their resolve um, and their approach, you know, out there practicing in 100 degree heat sometimes this week. So um, I'm proud of them for that. I really am. This is something to really, again, you know, I'm not happy that we blew a lead, but I'm very happy that there's a major lesson learned there. You know, I've been doing this a while. I just know as a player, um, right now I'd be refocused already, moving the sand, moving forward. Preparation for San Antonio to not let that happen again. Why did they start on defense? Why did they start on defense against against McPherson? I think Coach Ward had a good plan. Number one, I think Coach Ward had a good plan. Uh, we had a real good feel of what they were trying to do as far as uh, the receivers, and then I think Coach Miller did a good job of we wanted to make sure we filled the rush lanes and not give McPherson um, an outlet to run. Uh, he's the MVP of the league in my mind, no question, but, and he's going to get his yards. But I thought we really filled the rush lanes, and I thought uh, he was uncomfortable um, once he came off of his first read, so, um, and then would pull the ball down. And then, you know, our, our defensive line and linebacker um, really were motivated tonight, and they followed the plan that we had. And, you know, that, that was really impressive against a great player. Adrian McPherson is a tremendous player. And, that's really encouraging. Uh, then their backup came in, did a great job. You know, he did a great job. So um, that's an outstanding effort by by our staff and and by our defense of what they did to a, probably the, the MVP of our league. And uh, Cameron McGlynn, I mean, coming out again with two picks. I mean, how happy are you that you were able to pick him up a few a few weeks ago? Well, it was a big sign. You know, I think getting Cameron was big. Uh, he's a veteran guy that uh, uh, became available. Uh, we started kind of eyeing him a couple weeks ago, and then it worked out. Um, but again, it's, it, Cameron did a great job with that. I, I thought our coaching staff did a good job of putting our play, players in the right situation, having a good plan. Um, and I thought our overall plan as a staff 
was good. It was. Uh, I thought we, we had the right uh, concept of what we wanted to do and what we'd accomplish, and the players executed it, so that was a good thing. You kind of touched on this before, but did your defensive scheme change at all when McPherson left the game? Um, you know, uh, a little bit, and then the kid was able to flush outside, and he's pretty mobile too, and then throw that late touchdown, you know. Um, so it did change. We haven't seen him play. You know, he's come from another league. We haven't seen him play much, and, you know, you have to credit him. He did a great job in a tough situation and putting his team in a situation to win. He did a great job, I thought. Um, it did change a little bit, but uh, we didn't know how really mobile he was, but he was able to slide out there at the end and find an open receiver. Um, but I thought schematically what they try to do it as they attack you uh, in the passing game, you know, that stayed the same. So, um, you know, we weren't able to make a couple plays there in the end that we needed to. Did that kind of throw it all off a little bit, maybe help them with the comeback, uh, the, the switch of quarterback? I think so. I think uh, he created a spark. There's no doubt about that. Uh, he did a great job. Uh, I'd like to think our players uh, were re-motivated to keep going. You know, same plan. Um, but I think the kids surprised us all. Um, but, you know, these guys, everyone gets paid in this league to play. So they get put on the team for a reason. So, um, But the job we did against McPherson, uh, very proud of our defense and our staff uh, for the plan we had. One of your better defensive performances of the season, you think? I, I, again, I know this. Fourth quarter, the second half wasn't what you wanted, but the, you know, the approach to the game plan, how to handle, especially in the first half. I think you know in the second half we had the lead and <clears throat> we started kind of playing a little softer in our secondary. We gave up a lot of yards on underneath uh, routes, and they were getting a lot of yards after the catch. I think the quarterback surprised us. So when you look at the stats, they had a ton of yards passing. Um, but you know when you kind of play deeper zones, you're going to give up some catches underneath, but you got to make that. You know, we didn't tackle well in the secondary uh, on their receivers. So um, we've got to be more sound there. Those are good good coaching points that we'll fix when we have a lead like that um, to make sure we're tackling properly, not get, you know, giving up big plays uh, and working the clock a little bit. Feel better to fix them after a win. Absolutely. You know, and, and that's what I was saying earlier is that uh, there's lessons to be learned from this win, and that's a positive. That really is. And because the guys know. You know, that game could easily go gone the other way. And in this league, I've seen it happen so many times, not just here, but I've seen it happen. And you've got to finish, you know. You've got to finish. And uh, But you know what? Our offense in that final drive, we finished. You know, we managed the clock properly. That's a big thing. That's a big thing, understanding that. And, uh, you know, we're able to finish and get it done. That's a win. It's not easy to win this league. And we got to win against a good football team, division game. So... Thanks, guys. Thanks. For a touchdown, a uh, throw you want to have back, uh, what what happened there? Uh, you know, Rice is uh, he's kind of he's new on the team. Um, obviously, it was a horrible throw. Um, but we had the play. It was in our corner. You know, he was supposed to run a corner out. He hasn't really worked on it in practice too much. We uh, haven't really worked on that uh, specific part of our, our offense in practice lately. Um, you know, he's been in that position sort of. So uh, I guess it really wasn't a good call yet again. It was even worse throw by me. So. And uh, Coach was talking about how y'all really managed to manage the clock well uh, on the on the final drive to, to uh, hang on to the lead. Uh, could you talk about how you think you might have improved in that in that regard and how uh, you can build on that? Yeah, um, you know, all you got to do is hold on the ball and get positive yards. You know, and just like you said, manage the clock well, go the timeouts, and then uh, like we did throw the ball away at the very end. Um, I mean, there's really nothing more you can learn from that. Um, you know, but we were not a team where we can uh, just sit back and relax in the fourth quarter. And I tried to try to explain the guys and then try to get some of the defensive guys up, even the offensive guys in the huddle. You know, let them know like um, this is what's going to separate us from those teams that are winning and can finish the quarter or finish the fourth quarter and win the game down, and then you know us. So I think we rather than you know finish off with win, so it'd be good. Yeah, I mean this team, you know, had had seven wins, you know, so so they're pretty decent. I mean, so you feel like this win could be. Yeah, I think we've uh, I think we've improved a lot over the past you know four games or so. Um, offensively, you know, we've had some uh, spark. You know, we've been on the same page with the main receivers. You know, the lines were protecting well. Uh, you know, defense, you know, they still get their stops and turnovers. And so, you know, we've continued to do that and fix the little things on offense that we made mistakes on late the game. I think we'll be good. We're good. And uh, Coach, you know, you, you mentioned 
uh, Cameron, uh, two more interceptions today. Uh, you having a good time in the video uniform? Yeah, I like it down here. <laughs> It's good to be back on the field, being released from Spokane, and get another opportunity to come down here and help a team out and keep winning. And uh, you guys were effective against McPherson when he was in the game. Uh, just talk about the defense's performance, you know, you know, containing what uh, Coach called the MVP of the league. Yeah, he's really good. Uh, the coach just put us in a really good position to make plays, and we made the plays that came to us in the front. They got a lot of pressure on them and stayed in their lanes. Didn't allow them to run wherever we wanted to. And the DBs in the back end, we stayed on our people and we made a play. You helping make him one dimensional, kind of amputees. That definitely helped you guys out. You talk about that. Maybe more kind of taking and taking the running lanes away from him. Yeah. Did you see it kind of affecting his, uh, his passing game a little bit? Yes, he's uh he's very mobile, so we had to, we knew we had to contain him up front and stay on our receivers in the back end and, and everybody did their job tonight and all week we was talking about a chain game. Like we had to stay together like a chain and everybody did that and we trusted the person beside us that they were gonna make the plays that came to them and everybody played well tonight. Kirk, this is the game of course you missed the first time around. I don't know if vindication is the right word. What's it feel like to to uh, get a second chance to play uh, the Tampa. Uh, you know, from here on out the rest of the season, you know, I mean, I, that was, I did games, I was seven games now. Mm -hmm. We're two and, or no, we're three and nine right now. Every game is just another game, you know. We got to get on that winning side where we're beating, we got more wins than Orlando, Cleveland, and Pittsburgh. I mean, because that's what we're looking for in the playoffs, obviously. Um, so, you know, I'm looking at each game as, regardless if it's division or not, you know, I'm just looking at it as we got to win these games. Mm -hmm. Fast start on offense, you gotta feel good about that. Yeah, you know, we've had a very good fast start on offense the past couple of weeks actually, and we've kind of slowly declined throughout the game. And uh, I mean, it showed it in the fourth quarter on my part for sure, but um, you know, there was a little miscommunications on some of the things offensively with being receivers and whatnot in the fourth quarter that we gotta fix, you know. I mean, I think we kind of were getting up ahead of ourselves considering we were doing so well at the, um, in the first half, so. I think we just gotta stick to what we're doing throughout the four quarters, and then we'll be fine. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.